All right, guys, so as you can tell, you know, first we got the wheeler to check trigger gauge pull, well, trigger pulls, I guess, uh, trying to give you guys a reference on what we got. That wasn't good enough. So now I bought another one, which I, there you have the same exact accuracy levels. Uh, just this one has a different actual uh, cup, I guess, trigger cup. I think it'll fit certain guns better. But what we're going to do is we're going to test this Frankie Affinity 3. We'll do five pulls with the Lyman, five pulls with the Wheeler. And then whichever one you want to use that you think's accurate, you go with that. I'll put the Lyman over here, the five pulls average. I'll put the Wheeler over here, five pulls average. And we'll let you go with how you feel. Stay tuned. All right, so perks, these are both about the same price. You know, you get pretty cool little gauge box to it. Uh, the Lyman came with batteries, and one thing I'm really going to like, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I like this. I like, you can change this. You can push it down, and however you need it, it'll lock out. And then that way you can pull that way, which is nice. Um, but it does lock out. I like this for a trigger. Now the wheeler, you guys have seen this. And uh, the only issue we have with it, which this also, you can, you can move this around. But the only issue is you can see the different trigger cups or whatever the hell that's called. Uh, the wheeler only fits certain ones good, where I think the Lyman's going to have a good pull on them. But we'll see. We'll use the Lyman first. Now, I did see a comment. Someone wanted us to uh, weigh dumbbells with these. These are designed to measure the peak, as in the break of the weight. So it would have to be like pulling a fishing line and having it snap and essentially measuring, measuring the weight at where it snapped. That'd be really hard to do. Both of these have extremely accurate ratings, so I'm just going to go with that. Now we have two of them. You guys can take whatever you want. This is Moose's Frankie Affinity 320 gauge. You got the Go Woo Tar on there still. The Go Woo Tar is on there with its little rubber condom. And it's an unloaded firearm. Safety's off. First go with the Lyman. Seats in there nicely. I forgot to hit ready. That's the thing with this one, you have to hit ready, it beeps, and then it'll, then it's ready. The, the wheeler, you don't have to. That's weird. You flip this Lyman upside down and it changes the reading. Oh, it's pulling weight from just dangling of the rod? Must be. Because it went from zero to, watch, zero. Did it go to 2.8? It did nothing. It's it didn't do anything that time? Perfect. Did that time. Every time you hit ready. Let me, sh let me show you, show them that. So we cleared it. Now it's reading, you're at zero. If you invert it, it goes like two pound or two point eight ounces. Did it eight do ounce. it again? Three point one. So just keep that in mind. If you do check this upside down, it's gonna. I I don't know if that's gonna affect your meet, reading, but let's see. We are straight up and down, so it's zero. Pretty much what we've been getting with the wheeler. Was it three pounds, three point nine ounces? Yeah. So on this one, it's really cool. You just hit ready, and then it'll enter that into your average. You gotta be real careful not to move this thing because that's at 0.6 grit. It moves if you rotate it. Hmm. Okay, so three pounds, 2.3 ounces. It seems pretty similar to what we've been getting with the wheeler. Pull three. Three pounds, 9.4 ounces. I actually, I gotta say, I do like the fit of this. I, I think I trust the trigger pull a little bit more, maybe. But I do know if you if you move this when you hit ready, it does influence, like it's at 0.2 ounces right now. I don't think it'd matter, but 
Three pounds, 6.6 .6 ounces. My God. This is like the same we're getting with the wheeler, and y'all said that was wrong. Now I'm going to have to buy another one. Jesus Christ, you just can't keep people happy. <laughs> it's almost like it's just accurate, you know? But that was four. Yeah. Okay, so last one. Oh, two pounds, 13.4 ounces. Correct. Yes. Okay. Well, it's saying the average is two pounds, 11.3. So how is it the lowest reading out of all of those? Shouldn't it be around three pounds? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think this average is correct. I hit the average. I don't think that's correct at all. I mean, it, it just gave us for the average the lowest. Uh, yeah. I'll do the average myself in the corner. I don't think this thing gives you the average. But we'll see what the wheeler does. I'll turn this thing off or on or whatever it does. So now we got the wheeler, which I do like that this does give you the average. So there's that. And if you invert it, it doesn't change. Still zero. See, I don't know if that changes that reading. I don't think it would. But here we go with the wheeler. We'll see what we're getting. Okay, this is a pound lighter. We got two pounds, 2.7 ounces. So that's the first one. So that is lighter than any of the Lyman readings. Now we got, that's about on par, two pounds, 10.6 ounces. So, so far this is lighter. Four pounds, 0.39 ounces, because it, it finds its little seat. Yeah, three pounds, 12.0 ounces. See, like Hawk just said, this wheeler, when you find where it sits perfect, I don't think it's inaccurate because it's just, you have to fit that cup to that trigger because if you're too high, it's not pulling correctly. But right there, it's still getting about the same as what that Lyman was once, once I got the trigger cup right. So we're at 3 pounds, 309 oh ounces. So the average on this is three pounds, 2.8 ounces, which I really like that the wheeler does give you an average. That Lyman average ain't right because most of those were what? Three pounds, eight ounces, three pounds, three ounces. Yeah, so they're pretty close actually. Yes, so I'm curious to see what the average is total. Now I will say, I think you can be a little bit more lenient on the trigger where you are with this, but I do know that if you move it or do anything, it does change the readings. Does it do it after you pull the trigger too? Pull the trigger once with it and then move it and see if it... Pull the trigger after? Oh, oh I see what you're saying. Yeah, pull pull the, trigger the trigger and then flip yeah, it? Yeah, get the reading and then move it. No, locked oh, in. Okay. I think, I don't think it's going to influence anything. I think it's just whatever little tension comes out of this. Because that was 3 pounds, 13.9 ounces, just for the record. I just want to try something here. 3 pounds, 8 ounces. 3 pounds, 11 ounces. So it did the average on that one. I'll, I'll put the five trigger pulls for the wheeler up here and down with the average. I'll put the five trigger pulls with the Lyman over here and down with the average. I do hate making these videos because it takes forever to do the edits. But... We may be wrong just looking at it as we are now without seeing them side by side, but I do think they're going to be very, very similar to each other. I think the Lyman, you get with this kind of trigger cup or whatever you, a set, whatever you want to call this, I think you can be a little bit more lenient where you're in the trigger to get a true pull. Uh, the wheelers having this, uh, once you find that perfect set, I don't think this is inaccurate. I know it's not giving you readings what you guys don't want to see, but that doesn't mean it's inaccurate. That Just because it doesn't fit your idea doesn't mean it's wrong. But going forward, we'll do this style testing, and then you can use whichever gauge, or if you want to take the average between these two, you can. I'm not going to do that for you. So 
The Lyman, first look at it, I do like it. I like the build of it. I like the case. It's the same price as the Wheeler. They're both like $57. So here's $104 on trigger gauges just to try to make you guys happy. And uh, I'm curious to see how they go side by side in future tests. But we have other things to film. I just wanted to do this unboxing of this Lyman. And it works out perfectly because... I uh, had a lot of people asking about the Franke Affinity 3 20 gauge trigger pull. And as you can see here, the average between two different gauges over 10 pulls was what? About somewhere in the middle of 3 pounds, 5 ounces between yeah, the two. 3.5, 3 3.8, somewhere in there. So, really good trigger. Once again, we have yet to see a bad trigger in any of the turkey setups we've tested. We've got like 30 of them to go. So... Maybe we'll find one with a bad trigger. Who knows? But guys, as always, drop your comments below. Let us know what you thought. Do you like the Wheeler better? Do you like the Lyman better? Which do you use? All that fun stuff. Smash thumbs up button for your boys. Go down in the description. Join that membership. Grab some merch. Everything's right there. Early, early access to all videos, our hunts, all that fun stuff. Plus, the merch is getting hot. Just sold a couple Make Sense Common shirts last week. That's awesome. If you're watching this video, thank you. Let me know. Send me messages when you get it. Let me know what you thought of it. If the quality is not to your liking, let me know so I can make it better. Guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Subscribe, like, share, complain. It's coming. Catch you on the next one.